could call me a forgiver or you could say that I was desperate. But either way, I have a the real real haul for you guys even after my Fendi Micro Peekaboo take back. Surprisingly, I have four items that I all got from the Real Real, and if you don't know, the Real Real is a secondhand reseller. If you haven't watched my previous video, I've only used the Real Real once, and it didn't end well. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. This did not look like the pictures at all, and it stinks. Well, it was very, very different from the pictures. Like the pictures were extremely misleading. I got the bag. It was just a completely different color. The condition was not great at all, even like worse than it said. It also really, really smelled and it was final sale. However, however, their customer service restored my faith in them and they took it back with no worries because it didn't match up with the pictures at all. So I didn't feel as sketched out to try them again. So why did I end up on the real real again in the first place? So I am about to go home, which I'm going to vlog to get my hair blonde because that's a whole nother story. But also I am going to, of course, hug my family and spend time with them. But my dad's birthday and then also holidays is coming up. So um, I was looking for a gift for him actually because he loves all things watches but especially Rolex and no I did not get my dad a Rolex but I did get him a little something that I think he'll geek out over but I will say it's not what I thought it was but that it, that one's on me not on the real real okay so Let's give the real real a second chance together. I haven't fully inspected these items. Um, I'm just gonna peek inside, make sure they were in there. So it's really gonna be a, a full review with you and let's see if they pass the second chance. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't even know how this wasn't the first thing that I mentioned, but okay, this, this is my favorite secondhand item I've ever bought, probably will ever buy. I cannot believe I found this. I actually just listed it on my wish list. Just listen to this. I honestly just want something from the Plan de Paris. I love that collection so much. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's so timeless. I don't think I'll probably end up getting anything from this. Um, I do want the slingback pumps, but I'm just not gonna spend over a thousand dollars on pumps. The optimism right i did find these on the website it's crazy because they retail for over a thousand dollars now which is it, it, they weren't over a thousand like i think i don't know i i kind of seem to remember them being like 700 and then they were 900 for a while and then they went over a thousand and i'm just like those shoes are too bougie too cutesy too particular like they're noticeable shoes to wear all the time I don't know. I just like for me, I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars on shoes that are dressy. I don't know. It just you're not gonna get a lot of wear out of them, anyways. But I just like couldn't do the over a thousand. But this seemed reasonable. Okay, it never seems reasonable, you guys. It never seems reasonable. Don't get me wrong. I could compare this to like a Christian Louboutin. Those are usually seven hundred ninety-five. It was similar to that. Plus, this piece is not only wearable, but I would love to display this forever. And it also matches one of my favorite pieces in my whole entire collection. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So while we're being critical of the real real, okay, only because the other time wasn't that great. This is exactly how I received the package, okay? It, it seems fine-ish, but this is all beat in, if you can see. And watch this, you guys. This, this is how it was, like, it, are you kidding me? Like when I checked the, the uh, shoes, I just pulled them out of here. Oh, wait, there's no tape, no tape. Sketchy, very sketchy. Anywho, this was the, the box situation. I don't know what happened. And also, there was nothing in the box. It was just the dust bag in there. So they could have fallen out, they could have gotten wet. So many things could have happened to these shoes. And also this dust bag is white. So it's a miracle that it came to me all white still, but. 
I'm sorry the real world, but the points take it off. Points, no. And as I have already shown you from my wish list, these are the Plan de Paris Christian Dior sling bags. They are just absolutely stunning. They were listed for excellent in the condition and they actually are better than I would have imagined. I thought they were gonna definitely be worn, but you can see the sole is immaculate. Like it doesn't look like anyone has stepped in. The back looks great. This looks wonderful. Look how pretty this sole is. And then you get down here. This one doesn't even look like it's been worn. Like this shoe doesn't look like it's been worn at all. It still has the, if you've worn me sticker on. However, this one has some wear, but I, it is of no concern to me, okay? So, oh, actually, no, it was this one. Okay, so this toe is perfect. And I'll show you the design in a second. This toe just has a few scragglies. I don't even know if it'll let you see it, but okay whatever you know on this one there's just a few scuffs who cares in my eyes these are as good as new and they were about like three to four hundred dollars off retail so it is a huge win for me these are going to be decorations you can see the Arc de Triomphe on the toe oh, it's just gorgeous I wish you could see a little bit more of the map of Paris but I just think it's art and the best part is it of course matches my saddle bag. So it's a completely different print. I got the Voyage print, which has my elephant, palm trees, hibiscus, my little tiger. And of course this is a different print, but it's the exact same colorway of the beige and black. So I will be able to wear these together. <sighs> it's just like my heart is so full. This is my dream saddle bag. And these are my dream Christian Dior sling bags. So. Like, I, I feel like I could almost end my collection here, to be honest. Like, I just can't wait to have a shelf where these are on it, and then I have one of those hooks, and she's hanging up on it. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna move on. Everything else came in just one box, so first I'm gonna show you what I got my dad. And again, I'm not saying it's anything crazy, but my dad will nerd out, I hope. All right, like I said, my dad loves a Rolex, so I honestly, if I'm being for real, I just went on the search bar, I searched Rolex, and I went low to high on the price, okay. In fact, that's how all of this got started. Just have some fun, go to the real real, and then type in your favorite designers and then search it low to high. There, there are some steals, steals, okay? Like it was hard not to pick, especially like depending on what your shoe size is, they have tons of vintage shoes. So seriously, like just for fun, go pick a designer and look low to high price, you know. I don't think it'll be mad. Anyway, this is the box. It does look very old, but again, if you are a collector, it, you know, it can be neat. Now, I thought it was going to be a male wallet because when I think of Rolex, I think of, you know, men wanting wallets for some reason, even though it is completely unisex, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I looked and I thought this was a male wallet. So just that was the thought behind it, okay? It was the thought that counts. And you get a little, not dust bag, but cloth that has the Rolex crown on it. Cute, okay? But this is the wallet, all right? So it's got the Rolex crown stamped on the leather wallet. I guess it's more of a, maybe a, a watch case? No. I don't know, okay? You tell me what this is. <laughs> maybe for a different currency than USD, but here is the front, so the front folds open. We have a nice clasp here. The Rolex is stamped on. We have several card holders here. Um, of course, you could you know, slide in some bills or something, extra pockets. Um, there's some more flaps here. And then that's pretty much it. And then on the back, we have another little fold. I mean, you could bend your dollar bills or maybe another currency would fit in there better. I mean, you could fit other things that perhaps a watch you're not wearing. It is rather huge. Like this will not fit in your back pocket, but it also doesn't look like a feminine wallet. So I, I don't know who this was targeted for. I'm just hoping that maybe my dad, I, I think he'll just nerd out about it in general, but I'm hoping that he can find like some watch cloths to put in here or I don't know, honestly. 
I'm very sad that it's not like perfectly for a man's pocket because I was wanting to replace his wallet. I will say that this wallet is in perfect condition. I mean, it's like no one ever used it, even though the packaging looks vintage. So perhaps I will give you an update on my dad's commentary on it and maybe he knows what it's supposed to be used for. Like I said, I was just searching designer names in the search bar in the real real and sorting it low to high price and seeing what came up. And these are the things that I decided. Of course I had to do that with Bulgari, okay? And they had lots of great things, of course, but one thing that stood out to me were these glasses. So you get the glass case. This glass case does look worn. And I don't remember what the condition was on the website, but it says Bulgari on it. I will be keeping the case just to keep it safe. Again, you can see how old or worn these may be. They're just green shades. It was the green color that got me. I need to take this off, I suppose. I will say they are very old, and I'm not saying like these are gonna really protect my eyes, but they're cute. I'm very happy with these. I don't know about you. Yeah, I think these will just style so well. The next item I have not looked at, and I'm kind of having some regrets on it. I don't know why I bought it. What is one of my other favorite brands? Yves Saint Laurent, so of course, I searched them look low to high. I don't know why I landed on this. I really don't. I think it's because I've told myself that I have enough accessories to style with, but I don't have any clothes. And so I think I was just like, oh, this is something that I could style with jeans. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then I looked back and I thought at the price point, I was just like, really? Mm, I don't know, but we're going to see. And I don't even like stripes, but it's like a beetle who's striped button up. I don't know why I did this. What is this? It's sheer, like I'm looking at you through the shirt. Um, also, this is an interesting choice of design. So this front pocket, it's almost like there's like a hidden flower, but that image is nowhere else. You can see that it's got Yves Saint Laurent. It doesn't have YSL anywhere else on the shirt. I don't know, I think I, think I can style it. We're gonna see. Also, I did want to mention on the packaging, so like I said, with the Christian Dior shoes, there was no extra fluff. It was just the dust bag in the box for the shirt. It was inside this, the real, real package here. And then the Rolex came with this little compostable paper around it. So they're very bare bones. Other than that, it's this, which, hey, I'm all here for the minimal packaging. I just think that, you know, things like this should maybe be inside a compostable when you're spending so much money on it and it could literally get ruined for everyone. Like the seller wouldn't benefit, the buyer doesn't benefit, the company doesn't benefit if things like this get ruined. And then a piece is just lost, but that's just me. Hopefully you can see the full fit from this angle. I desperately try to find my black jeans. I have no idea where they are, but we have black jeans, shorts, just basic. I'm not saying I would just go wearing these around, to be honest. And then I have the YSL top. I have a button below. I put on my YSL Cassandra palm earrings to match the vibe. Um, also, you know, of course I have the sling backs again. I'm not saying I would do that with this outfit, but I just wanted to show everything all in one. And then I have the green shades. I thought I'd flip you around, show you up close as well. So I think that the glasses go amazing with this top and also the earrings. Again, I'm not sure how I feel about mixing the metals with this and I'm not saying that the beige is all the colors, but you know, I think it works. I hope you enjoyed this haul from The Real Real. I am glad that I gave them a second chance. However, it was a close call on the Christian Dior Slingbacks, okay? So you're not totally out of the clear of The Real Real.